we've discovered a twin jet system emerging from a black hole. And this pair of jets is about 23 million light years long. That is not just the solar system, not just the Milky Way, but 140 Milky Way diameters in total. That makes it the largest structure made by an astrophysical body, like a black hole, ever observed. In the center of every galaxy, there is a big black hole of about a million to a billion solar masses. These swallow stars and dust and plasma that comes close to it, but they do not swallow everything that comes close. A tiny fraction of all the material is being ejected again, just before it falls into the black hole. And those particles are funneled into two jets. Uh, these jets accelerate particles too close to the speed of light. Therefore, the jets start to glow in synchrotron radiation. And that is radiation that you can see with radio telescopes on Earth. What we tried to look for initially was a radio signature of the cosmic web. Um, the cosmic web is a large scale structure of the universe. It is the network of matter that pervades all space between the galaxies. It is possible to image the cosmic web using radio telescopes, we think. And while doing that, we found some very big outflows that were coming from galaxies. And using our new images, we were able to find 10,000 of these new objects. So it seems that every massive galaxy has black hole jets to some degree. But what we're discovering now is that an increasing number of galaxies actually have black hole jets that reach far out beyond the border of the galaxy itself. Whenever the jets reach the intergalactic space, then we think they have a big influence on heating the medium between the galaxies and on magnetizing it. Those are two very big questions. How did the universe get magnetized? and how did the large-scale structures that lie between galaxies came to be.